this training or presentation I'm going to show you how to install Oracle eBusiness Suite R12.1 which is 12.1.3 version of eBusiness Suite now if you look at first thing when you need to install Oracle eBusiness Suite is you need to download Oracle eBusiness Suite software which you can download from eDelivery I've downloaded the software under stage Oracle EBS and you have 12.1 under 12.1.1 directory and these are all the zip files which I downloaded from eDelivery and I unzipped it on unzipping it is created one two three four five subdirectories now to start the installer you go to the start CD and you go to disk one inside disk one you see a directory rapid ways and you start installer from rapid ways file under the rapid ways directory so if you notice the structure is I downloaded all the software under this directory unzipped it it is created five subdirectories inside that I went into start CD then disk one and then directory rapid ways inside that rapid ways I see a directory or a file or executable called rapid ways which is being used to start the installer but before we install few things is to notice is you start Oracle eBusiness Suite installer from a root user you don't install it from a non root user you install it from a root user when you install it from root user you must create a user which will own Oracle eBusiness Suite now Oracle eBusiness Suite consists of two tiers mainly a database tier and a application pair so you can have a single user owning both the both application tier and database tier or you can have a one user one operating system user owning the database part or database tier and second user owning the application tier I'm doing two user install which means database is going to be owned by a user called r 12 c so if you go to and it's going to install or I'm going to install eBusiness Suite under Oracle apps eBusiness with R12C. So if you see if you see this directory, I created three subdirectories inside that. And if you check check the ownership, A with R12C is the user, and the DBA is the group who has ownership of inst or instance directory and apps directory. So these two directories, which is inst and i apps are application tier directories owned by a user a with r12c and the db user db directory which is owned by o with r12 a for a for application tier and o for database tier and with r12c is the database instance name or or ebusiness instance name which i'm going to install now so so far i've created two users a group called dba and then I created two users Avis R12C and Ovis R12C. Avis R12C is going to own the database tier and Avis R12C is going to own the application tier. I'm going to install my R12 software under this directory which is Oracle Apps EBS with R12C. So let's start the installer by going to the staging directory which is stage oracle inside that ebs inside ebs directory 12.1.1 and inside that start cd inside start cd i have a disk one inside disk one rapid ways and you start installer by running rapid ways notice again you need to start installer from root user so when on a welcome page click next now it gives you an option whether you want to receive security updates we'll skip the security update on eBusiness suite and we can apply them these security updates manually later
click next now you have configuration choice which is you create a new configuration or if you've already created it or or if you have a saved configuration you can load it uh, by selecting the second option this is a new install or first time install for me so I'm going to opt create a new configuration click next now you select a port pool which means when eBusiness suite is going to use port number for application tier or database use uh, tier it automatically you select the port pool and it will if you select port pool 0 it will default select port number 1521 for database and for web tier it's port number 8000 for form server it's 9000 those values I already have uh, e-business uh, e another e-business suite installed on port pool 0 so I'm going to select port pool 57 for this you select port pool 57 and click next you can select port pool 0 or any other value which is available in your case so click next now here you have an option to select database type whether you want a vision database or you select a fresh database when you select a vision database or fresh database you provide database SID or system identifier and in my case I'm going to select Wes R12C which means it's a vision instance and it's a release 12 version you can use any name for database SID as long as it's eight characters or line you select the host name you select your domain name and you then provide database username which in my case is always r12c and the database group is correct which is dba i need to change my base directory because i want to install it under oracle apps ebs with r12c or the directory which i already created so i select here and change the Paste directory to Oracle apps EBS with R12C. You can you can create or select any other directory, but when you select that, ensure in the directory you create three subdirectories and grant them necessary or appropriate permissions or ownership. Ownership. Click next. So in previous step, we configured database node configuration. And next now we are in a primary application to your node configuration so application operating system user is always r12c and my group application to your group is dba which is fine base directory is still same which is oracle apps ebs with r12c and instance directory is oracle apps ebs with r12c and inst which i already created manually from root user and change permission to the application to your user click next now if you are doing multi node installation which means one database tier and more than one application tier node you can create a, or add a server in this case I'm installing both application tier as well as database tier uh, on the same machine and I have just one application to your node you can define or install your e-business application tier into multiple nodes like e-business like forms tier and one node and web server or web node on another machine for this uh, demo I'm installing both application tier and database tier and all application tier nodes into the same machine now when you click next it's wrap installer is checking uh, and ensuring that it has enough disk space the port numbers which you've selected are available the user has writable write permission and few other checks so it, it is going to our installer is going to run some checks and after that it will tell us whether all the checks completed successfully or not if any checks fail it will tell you which checks failed and the reason why they failed 
so once you know or you can see what failed you can you can fix that problem and rerun this checks again which uh, once this finishes I'll show you how you can verify any fail checks